I'm Dave. And I'm Steve. I'm Dad. And I'm Son. Welcome to the episode of DJ Projects, episode 67. So this week at DJ Projects, we're going to completing some fencing. We're going to be revisiting some jobs. There's going to be plenty of grabs and deliveries, and there's going to be a couple of drop crossings and some tarmac. Stay tuned. I hope you enjoy this episode. Good morning, guys. I'm interrupting this video from home. It is Sunday. The video should have been live five hours ago. We've had some problems. It's stupid, really. Quite angry about it. Me and my dad have been doing this for 67 weeks now. We shouldn't be running into these stupid problems like this. Um, just want to say sorry, guys. Um, hopefully you enjoy this video. It's not wreck your Sunday too much. If it has, I do apologise. And I'm sure my dad apologises too, guys. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoy this video. Good morning. It is a Monday morning. And I've got back drop-offs. I'm in big red. A bit unfortunate. This is the trader where we've got the agreement where we can't film. So I've got bag pickups and a grab to do from them as well. So you're not going to see much of that. You might see the grab that's being tipped off. But yeah, I'd like to touch on a massive, massive thank you for everyone who supported us through Tia. Yeah, still a bit, a bit raw. Still a bit sore. It really touches me in the morning when she's not there to greet us. But yeah, like someone said in the comments, just look after you guys. You guys are going to be feeling it as well. So yeah, I'd just like to say a massive thank you everyone was wish me well you know I me mean, for our loss yeah let's get these grabs done uh, and catch up a little bit later monday morning <laughs> bit of a tough monday morning but yeah we'll get through it so yeah let's crack on and as soon as we've done this we'll catch up so here we have it 10 bags sitting nice and pretty i said i won't film but i'm not getting any of their stuff in so yeah we're going to do the grab then we'll catch definitely catch back up at the yard so then i said we'll catch up back at the yard but there's a bag on the way back to the yard so i'm gonna grab it oh i'm struggling to get this car shifted so i might have to go around bag's just over there look in that corner so yeah let's try and get this car shifted over managed to get shifted so let's get it on Another one on. Now you'll see me back at the yard. Back up at the yard. So we'll just get this tipped and mix it in and we'll take it to Oakfield later. Yeah, and I think what we're doing now, I think we're jumping on at a mighty white. So yeah, I've, I've done with Big Red today. So I'm going to film with Taco in there, put my Taco in and do the walk around again on mighty white. And then I believe we're picking some hedge up in a bit as well off Steve. So lads lent that onto there. They'll take a few bags of well, a few bits of rubbish out and the steel, the steel grate there. And then I'll transfer that onto Mighty White in a bit. Yeah, so it looks like all I've got to do is one bag of pea gravel to drop off and then we've got to go and collect some pea gravel and bag that up. And then Stevie probably give me a call and in between that we might get rid of that waste I just tipped over there. Let's go and get this bag of pea gravel dropped off. Well, first off, put my tacko in on this one take all my stuff out, transfer over to Mighty White, we'll do the checks and everything. And then we'll load one bag of pea gravel up, do that, fly over and get some pea gravel, and then we'll bag that up, and hopefully Stevie should be ready for me. If not, we'll do a run to Oakfield. It's about to leave, and Bernie's just ran there, can I do five tonne of roadstone loose? So yeah, 
I'm only taking the pea gravel out and fetching pea gravel, so yeah, I'll go and fetch it. Well, I'll go and load it up and deliver it. But I'm gonna do a little red. So they're grabbing it. Just load five ton up on the back, nice and quick. ton on the back so let's get the uh ton of pea gravel delivered and then the five ton and then we'll go and fetch some more pea gravel so yeah let's head over there looking on the maps where the pea gravel is well ton to drop off we're probably gonna have to drop the uh loose loose <laughs> i'm off again oh my days we'll drop the loose a roadstone off first and then we'll drop the pea gravel because waste time wasting diesel backs and forwards just for one bag so yeah we'll do that on the way to collection of the pea gravel so yeah let's get this uh, roadstone dropped That's it, five ton of a roadstone. I think we're grabbing all that very, very soon when the job's finished. So yeah, the few loads there, that'd be good. But we're done here. Now we're gonna go and drop the pea gravel off and then pick the pea gravel up. It's another one drop, go and collect the pea gravel. So we're just getting loaded now, 15 ton of 20 mil pea. About nine ton. I didn't do a full bucket then. But yeah, 13, 1, 8, uh... <laughs> 14, 8, 6 there, we'll take that. I've only got one bridge here, so I've got to wait for that wagon there, and hopefully that wagon behind it not pull straight on and let me way off. We'll see. Back of the yard now, gonna fill some bags. What's that over there? <laughs> Jordan, what's happened though? You might see it on the time lapse. But yeah, we'll put it back on time, a different angle. And then uh, we'll have to play that up.
that's all the pea gravel grabs. I've got enough time now to do an Oakfield run, so I'm going to nip over to Oakfield. I'm glad I'm going to an Oakfield run. All loaded up and ready to get tipped. See you at the tip. All tipped off. Now we're heading over to Steve Air to go and grab some bush or hedge, what he's been doing today. That was not the best, guys. But we're with Steve Air, yeah, and he's filming me. So this is clicky fingers, get rid of him and the lads. And the lads are still there. There's not a lot, guys, but it's that like pie camphor, that spiky stuff. So to get it on the van over there. Yeah. And plus, I was only I was 15 minutes away, I believe. I'm tipping off, so cool two birds in one stone, but not literally like these guys. So yeah, lads just tidying up, and then they'll be on their way, and I'll be on my way now. Well then, I did say we'll catch up back at the yard, but I forgot. But yeah, it's Bernie's birthday, so we've come to Miller and Carter. Gonna meet Stevie, Chelsea, and we're gonna meet Stevie, Chelsea. Scott. Charlie. I'm going to meet Stevie, Chelsea and Charlie here. I've got Charlie's name. But yeah, just waiting for them. But yeah, a little special treat for Burn for it. So hello guys and good morning. It is currently Tuesday morning. It's me and Ant on a fencing job today. If you had watched Wednesday's video, you would know the fencing job that we are on today. And we're going to complete it today. That is the plan anyway. There used to be a shrub all here, a pack camp for hedge. Oh, and it was a nightmare getting it out. I'm sure, again, if you saw Wednesdays, you'll understand that it was a bloody nightmare getting that hedge out. But it's me and Ant today. Finn's back in the concrete side helping those lads out because me and Ant will be able to continue with this fence running all the way down to that fence right there. That's the plan today, guys. You're going to see mine and Ant's sort of day today. And then you'll see my dad's day a little bit later, seeing as you saw his day yesterday. I want to say thank you for watching this video. Thank you for all the support for Tia. It does mean a lot and does mean the world to us, guys. I guess less talking, guys. Let's start cracking on with this fence. Find roots as well, which makes it easier to like try and get them out of the way, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You have some in the way? Uh, yeah, just need to knock them down a bit.
that's another one pretty much done guys looking good How's that for you guys? When we're putting a fence, obviously the bad side facing to the customer, you want to make it as aesthetically pleasing as possible because of course they're paying for this fence guys, but they're giving the neighbor the good side. So we've made sure that the rails pretty much all match. It looks quite nice. Looks good across the top, nice and level. This next bay isn't going to be one of these. It's going to be the one underneath. So that's how it's going to look, guys. A panel and a trellis. That's what this customer's asked for, so they can still speak to the neighbour. Because they get on, it's not like they want to block them out completely. Obviously, just no one really wanted to cut the, the horrible hedge, basically. So that's what they're going with. They're going with one panel and a trellis. It's going down at the end, like I mentioned earlier on the Wednesday video. But if they do want to put it somewhere around here, they can do, can't they, guys? Because they can just slide it out and uh, replace them in a different position. But that's next so i guess that's what me and Nan's gonna do now and we'll do it with i'll tell you what we'll do a little bit of raw clip right how raw do you think this is gonna be give it a seven seven out of ten <laughs> that's quite odd that is <laughs> seven out of ten it's gonna be a really small bay right yeah yeah that's what i'm thinking Wait until we show you this line guys, oh my gosh, what we do, reason I've took the string line down as well is because I can eyeball this last one because it would only be in the way, and then when you're on a long run absolutely use that string line, when you've already got a perfect straight line like that and we know we're going six foot here and like Anne just said we're going to dig the upper hole whilst we're here and whilst we've got room, uh, we don't need the string line because I can follow that perfect line anyway guys but yeah that's why Doing again. So that's the look that this customer's asked for, guys. They've still got the little talking station here. Not looking too shabby, if we do say so ourselves. It's just a small bay to go in there as all well, guys. Obviously, we've got to get this post in and that post and the gravel board. We've got a little bit to go, but it's coming along. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll use magic fingers to get all this sorted. So we're doing the magic fingers from this side because we're locked out now, guys. It's all tidy on the neighbor's side because remember, there's always two sides to every fence. And that's what that corner is looking like, guys. 
not too shabby indeed wrapping all the way down we've made a little custom panel over there so that it just feels a little bit more secure customer weren't too fussed at the beginning but then the boss has got in charge and when i say the boss i mean the wife so we've done that little custom bay there for this lovely customer now it's a matter of working our way out of the garden and up the drive with a big clean up operation so we're cleaning we're cleaning we're cleaning we're cleaning we're cleaning we're cleaning and then we're gone guys so yeah that's pretty much what we're doing just got to sweep up this bit now all the way out of the garden and we'll be out of here so then guys let's remind ourselves of what this job was looking like just yesterday it's crazy what can change in a day as you can see we've got a pie cam for a hedge well taking over really it, it is being maintained but no one wanted to maintain it no more so this is what they've replaced the pie cam for with lovely bit of trellis right here so customer and neighbor can still speak Nice little panel at the end. Not too shabby, that, guys. That is it from me and Ann on this job, guys. Back to the yard we go. I said we'd catch up at the yard, guys. Dad is right there, lifting up some sleepers, probably ready for a tomorrow delivery. Seeing as I'm not doing anything now, let's go see what my dad's been up to all day. Good morning, it is Tuesday morning. As you can see in the background, Stevie is just loading up for a delivery. I've got some lovely topsoil out of our bay. A uh, six ton of pea gravel, two sharp sand, two bags of cement, a black jointed. I think they might have took the jointed though. But yeah, I'm just waiting for Jordan now to bring the remainder of my delivery and then I'll be on my way. Uh, went to Miller and Carter yesterday for Bernie's birthday. Show some support in the comments, please. Yeah, we had a lovely time. Yeah, really nice. Feeling a bit. You know, when you have steak the night before, don't digest properly, does it? Yeah, I feel a bit still full up. I probably won't be eating until about three o'clock. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Miller and Carter, really, really like that. It's a lovely steak there. Service is outstanding. But yeah, we'll get loaded up and then we'll catch up back in the cab and see what direction we're going to go. But yeah, we've got a busy one as well. We've got a couple of grabs to do. I'd like to squeeze some other stuff in if I can. I, I, I believe Nottingham Landscapes to squeeze the grab in. So yeah, quite a busy one on the grab side. So yeah, let's uh, get this loaded up and then catch up. Looking at the sheets, it is the pea gravel first, Bullwell, around the corner, and then we're over to Stapleford. Bullwell first, get rid of this pea gravel, then Stapleford, and it's a remainder, the six ton of topsoil, and sharp sand, and then we've got a gravel way. So yeah, let's go to Bullwell first. So there we have it, six bags all down there. These lads are gonna shift in Barrett right around there. Yeah, we're on a busy road, so we need to get out of here, really. So next drop is all that and these, Let's get it off. So here we are, our next one. We're just sticking it on the front down here. So we'll stick it on a bit of time out to get unloaded. Six ton of topsoil, two ton of sharp sand, two cement, and two joints. It all delivered. Now we're back to the yard. I think one got missed from yesterday. I didn't have a ticket for it, but it must have been in the wrong place. Let's go and grab that now, and then we'll be on our way. Another load on the back, we've got six bags of our screen topsoil and 10 3 by 3 eight foot posts. So let's get delivered. There we have it. Then there, and the posts are there. So yeah, a bit of a difficult one, cars parked both sides. So that's where we could get. Who remembers that one across there? Still standing pretty. 
Sense had nothing done to the garden yet, but let's see where our next one is. Right, next one's soil. What is it? Soil, an old stone grab away. So yeah, the rest around the corner. Let's head over to that now. See the top of it. This one's meant to be on big red, but I bought my wax a minute anyway, so let's get grab. That's it, all on there. Just grab from down there. This will probably go through the screen now, so we'll try. This one's a good one, isn't it? The Clint's here to be going at, so let's get it on. a bit of a dint in it the lads are coming out in a minute and they're going to start dragging it around and there's going to be another one so Aaron will give me a ring when he gets that other one sorted I'm debating whether to take this back and screen it or just take it straight to Oakfield because I've made a right dint in that corner I don't want to flip back up again probably tip it off yeah we'll tip it off tipped off at Oakfield yeah I got rid of it normally I'd take that back screen it well, trying to gain a bit of room, try and clear that pile before I start bringing decent stuff back again. Yeah, I'm going to take my break now. I'm going to take my 15 minute break. No, sorry, my half hour break. I've had my 15 minute break. I'm worrying about my half hour break now. And then I believe we have got one ton of plum slate, six cement, and one sharp sand to deliver. NG6, so that's just around the corner. So yeah, I'll, I'll ring Jordan, see if we can get that ready for me. But yeah, we'll have a break and then we'll cash back up. Jordan's just loaded Meg, just see top of that bag now. He's going to go and get the plum slate from the front. Let's go and have a look. Hey, oh, people want to see you. Yeah, the swans are back. Man's getting a little bit higher. Well, I woke her up. I don't know where the other one is. Woke her up, I'll leave her to it. As soon as Jordan's loaded us up, we'll be on our way again. And we'll deliver this. I'll try and show you. Start to look on the map, just around the corner. Let's head over there. Can we talk about, can we talk about the truth? I wanna know, know, I wanna know. Can we talk about, can we talk about me and you? Can we talk about, can we talk about me and you? Can we talk about, can we talk about the truth? I wanna know, know, I wanna know. Can we talk about, can we talk about me and you? Contending with guys. Why is it going? We've got to drag it from there, obviously, put it down there. Yeah, let's get it off. I'll show you. Good to my luck. And we're all clean. Back to the Hello guys, and welcome to the DJ show down this alleyway. We're on a terrace street today, and we're putting in a new tongue and groove gate. There was a gate here, it's on screen right now. Customer come straight out, picked up that gate out, but I just put that straight out, so I couldn't get my camera out fast enough. Um, but that's down that, and it's just taking off some ironwork that the customer's um, sort of has to keep. 
So yeah, not a problem. We'll sort that out. Always with flatheads. It's always a flathead, guys. We don't use flatheads. Come on, guys. It's old schoolers using these flatheads, making it bloody hard for us. And there's that word bloody again, but making it bloody hard for us when we're replacing gates. But yeah, it's a tongue groove gate there, putting some timbers onto the walls. Pretty simple, guys. So we'll just catch up on the wall and on guys. the post. 4B2's screwed on. It's not hanging off the wall on this one. It's actually hanging off this existing concrete post. That's what the customer's asked for. Just need to get some treatment on the tops of these because the customer asked it if I'd cut them in triangles. Um, he's had the front gate done before. Who remembers that video? And he just wanted some triangles on these ones. They're straight tops. He wants the water to actually run off these. So I said, yeah, no problem. Put one, two, three, four in this one, all down the center because this isn't the one that the gate's hanging on. So there's no problem about a twist on that one. This one, gate's hanging. So what we've done, we're screwing into this concrete post. And that's obviously is a recess both sides. Rather than do two, 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 we've gone one in the center, and then we've gone as far over to the right as we can without hitting the recess, as far over to the left, to the right, to the left, back to the center, guys. So that's nice and strong now. And the reason we do that, as in go sort of side, 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 is that when the gate opens, you imagine this gate here, guys, it's opening, it wants to peel this, this side off the post. It wants to peel it off as it opens and closes so it wants to peel that side when it closes so that's the reason we do it guys so with one going in there a bit more strength stops it from trying to peel away pick up the costas because can't forget this and treated me to this as well as we've got fuel so i do appreciate that so i can't leave it kind of but yeah we're off to go and finish a job that we started a while ago now i mean mate let's see if you remember when we get there Not too shabby, guys. Who remembers this one then? This was a weekly Wednesday video, this one was. And we said we'd come back and we'd move these gates like a foot up. So yeah, let's have a look what we're doing. We need to get them off the floor there, but the only concern is, look at this, guys. I don't know if it's because there's not one in there or if it's just that the iron work is uh, sort of like a hairline fracture down here, I'm not sure. This one feels solid. I've got a 4 by 2 to replace this 3 by 3 So what I'll do, I'll put the 4 by 2 on back here somewhere. I'll find out how far they want to come back down anyway. This isn't going to be used for the drive. It's just so that they can get the car further on the drive. But yeah, should be good, guys. The good gates, I can see why they want to keep them. They're nice. They are very nice gates. But uh, let's get them off. Oh, come on, big boy. Bet all the paint's connected. Oh, one more of them, mate. One more of them. <laughs> nice, this one, guys. So then, guys, we've got it out. Just over here, look. It doesn't look like it's got a hairline fracture or anything. It seems okay, guys. It seems okay. Little flims, eh? But it seems okay. Gates are quite heavy. That probably don't help. Now it sees. And look what's in them. Bloody flatheads. Let's see if our drill will get them out. So we've managed to get that off the wall there, guys. And we've managed to save the hinges as well. Even though it's a little bit hot because the steel saw has just had to cut down the side of it to get it off. Because these flatheads. Oh, our nemesis. Just gone through three. That's four. Can't. I'm not stupid, I just can't bend my finger because of this guy, so it's, it's hurting me. Uh, we've gone through three bits, flattered bits, which is crazy, absolutely crazy. Um, but yeah, let's find out where we're putting these gates. So then guys, I just spent the last 45 minutes trying to make this work. Can you see? Drilled in guys. It's just not strong enough. It's just not strong enough. Every time you hang it on, all it does is this. Blup. Just flops down. So what I'm gonna do, because I know we made this strong enough, what I'm gonna do, me and I'm gonna hang this one on here, which we're doing. We're gonna head back to the yard, go do our gate that we're supposed to be doing. 
Then we're going to get a tin bar across here, run it in a straight line, get a 4x2 or a 3x3 on there, maybe a 4x4, whatever we need to fill this gap in to make sure it fits obviously nice. Hang the gates off this side. We're trying to hang them off the original, this one here, but it's just not working, guys. Uh, we may have been defeated on this one, but where there's a will, there's a way, and we are going to sort this gate out eventually. Um, but I'll catch back up once we get to the yard and get that tongue groove gate. I think I said we'd meet up at the yard we don't need to meet up at the yard now do we mate no no because uh we're masters at what we do <laughs> we've done it guys we scrapped the idea we scrapped it quite literally that metal thing is getting scrapped and we decided to do this instead more than happy with this because again like i mentioned we made this obviously we built this we know it's solid put this uh four before timber on here and it's absolutely solid because these are bloody heavy these are these i think they're cast iron gates let me know if in the comments if i'm wrong guys but uh yeah, that's what we've done. Obviously, they were only there and they've moved back. And some will be saying, God, all that effort just to move them back there. Guys, they can't get the cars on the drive without basically smashing into them. So they've asked if we can push this back. And um, what we've gone, four foot, three or four foot there. But yeah, I'll fill these in with concrete as well. But that's just like a five minute job as I'm passing. And of course, as always, close the cells. Oh, I'm really happy with that, guys. Really, really happy. We've put the drop bolt in there, drilled a little hole as well. Really happy with that. Me and Ant are going to hang that on groove gate, so let's get there. So here we are, guys. No! Let's get these hinges on here. There we go, guys. Three hinges. Now let's get it on. I've never been able to see from that time lapse. The summit just didn't look right when we was putting this gate up there. It seemed to be three or four inches too small. And been made, it should be 57 inches tall, guys. Three and a half. So we needed 57. So I think that time that Jamie's had off last week has affected him on this one. Yeah, it's all good, guys. These happen. So what we may do is two inches, two inches, but we'll have a look and find out first. So this is what we've gone with, guys. Decided to give the customer the option. We'll make them a brand new gate or we can hang it, see what they think. And they quite like this castle design. I think if this was flat and straight, it probably wouldn't have looked right. But because we've gone for the triangle finish, a little bit like a castle. There's gonna be an auto latch on here as well. We went with a soffit latch. It's like this little metal circle thing that holds the soffit handle together. It was non-existent. It wasn't even in the pack. And it definitely wasn't on the floor. But this is what it's going to look from this side, guys. So basically, it's just a reach over here to open the gate. But this is it from this side, guys. Looks quite nice. Customer is going to paint it same colour as these panels, but I've advised him not to do it for a good few weeks yet. Let the wood do its natural thing, contract, expand, all that good stuff. But yeah, that's what it's looking like, guys. And to what was here, I don't know, a couple hours ago. I think it's not looking too shabby. Um, I'll put this auto latch on the way home tonight as well because it'd just be a wasted journey to come out for that. Um, and it's coming up to four o'clock anyway, so it's gonna be in about an hour and 15 minutes. So I'll do that, but yeah, I'm back to the yard we go. So then guys, we're back. It's just gone five. We've come and put this auto latch on there. I call it a horse latch, but I think it is actually an auto latch. Just to prove that it does work as well. <laughs> there we go, guys. And of course we've got the lock involved right there. So yeah, um, that's it from me. Let's go and see what my dad's been doing all day. Good morning, it is Wednesday morning. Uh, sorry I didn't uh, close video last night. We picked tears uh, ashes up last night, so good stuff to go and do that. But yeah, it is Wednesday morning. It is a glorious morning. We have Jordan back. Jordan has been off with uh, squits, <laughs> basically. <laughs> yeah, so what are we doing today? We've got three bags of pea shingle to do. I'll try and film it this time because there's only three bags and Jordan's with me. So we'll get that filmed and then we're dropping some sleepers off and then it's grabs all day. So yeah, busy day. Me and Jordan's gonna uh, look after him today. They don't look too, too well today, but they're not getting me. <laughs> so yeah, let's get onto it and drop these pea gravel off.
So we've arrived guys, what we're gonna do, put them down here. Yeah, let's get them off. That's one down. Now it is the sleepers. Let's head over there. This one, guys, just dropping some sleepers off. So let's get them off. Jordan jumped straight on the grab. I've been talking to Michael at Instagram. He hasn't done no videos for a while, but he's promised me he's going to get back on it. So yeah, Jordan's just going to grab this and then we'll be on our way. Right guys, all cleared up, just that last little bit, so he's going to do that. Put the sheet over now, I'm just going to grab a bag for him. Save him a bit of backache, because he's already had enough of that round there, he hit it round there. So that's all grabbed and gone. You did see me take off a bag for him just to save his bag, just stuck it down by the wall. But yeah, let's get this tipped off. And then on to the next one. They all seem to be green grabs today for some reason. I don't know if the girls in the office have done it on purpose or it just worked that way. But yeah, all green grabs. Yeah. Here we go. We'll get tipped off. Well, we're back. We're back. Jordan's just gone in there in the little hut. We'll have a look. But yeah, we're tipping off here, round that pile, just over there. So yeah, let's get it tipped off and on to the next. It's all tipped off now. Uh, on to the next one. We've got a full load of green on. Didn't film that one because it's a bit awkward customer was there. So yeah, it's on and it's gone. <laughs> so yeah, what we'll do, 
there's a bit of wood on it, we've separated the wood. We're gonna take that back to the yard. We've got three bags to pick up on the way back to the yard. We'll get that on because this is quite loose brash and the bags will hold it down. So yeah, three bags, back to the yard, drop the wood off, probably top this up with a little bit of our stuff. Then we'll go out and get it tipped off. Yeah, busy, busy, busy. But it's all coming to plan. The plan's coming together, isn't it, George? Sure is. Yeah, sure is. So next time you see us, we'll pick some bags so up. Hey guys, it's these three bags, what we're doing. We've moved the green to the front a little bit, made some space. So let's go on. you and me. That's another one down guys. So what we're doing now, we are taking that back and we'll probably top a bit of a green up out the yard on top of that because there's a bit of room in, do you want? Yeah. So be. yeah, that's what we'll do. So next time you see us, we'll be back at the yard. We're just back at the yard now, John, just grabbing a few bits and bobs of waste out of the pile. And then we'll get our bags tipped on here and grab a bit of that brush just over there. Gonna push this up just there. Look on the fore left, it's gonna get a little red. Push it up that bag, what's emptying, and then that'll be a good load to Oakfield. It's a trip to get this one tipped off. This is small brash, so this can go to a different place. It doesn't have to go where we normally take it, it's not as far as well. So, we need some more roadstone, you, you believe. So I'm gonna bring Bernie now, uh, get us one ordered. I would take this isn't too far away from the quarry. So it won't be so much of a wasted journey just going to the quarry. And then once we've done that, the final one of the day is gonna be a green waste. And probably end up bringing that back. So we'll have to have a break in between there as well. We've already had a 15 minute break. We need a half hour break. We've got about another hour, hour and a half of driving before we have to take that half hour break. So yeah, next time you see us, we'll be tipping this off. Hey guys, try to tip it, won't tip. So what Jordan's gonna do, just chuck it over. All empty now. It's all down there. Let's go to the quarry. So here we are en route into the quarry. Pulled off in a layer bar just before this and had a half hour break. So now we're good for another four hours. We won't need that anyway, but we're going to get caught inside the quarry for another hours.
Tip that off now. Now we're over to revamp. It's going to be a little tiny bit late. It, the time is quarter to five. So by the time we've got this loaded up, we're going to have to stop on tonight. But yeah, it's not too far away. Just be battling with the traffic, that's all. What's put us back a little bit is going to the quarry, but we did need the stone. So double ended sword, isn't it? Don't know if we'll film it. If we do, you'll see it. If not, we'll catch up tomorrow. Last one of the day. We're starting. Uh, I'll put you on a time lapse. As seen by the video, we've got that all on. The time is now quarter past five, so it was a mad dash to miss the traffic to get back to the yard. But I think we'll leave it here, guys. We will see you nice and early in the morning. See you later. Good morning. It is Thursday morning. We have got plenty of work on today. We've got drop crossings to do. We've got a bit of time mapping at the school. We've got one of them posts to do again at Academy Roofing. I've got two Warwickshire Gold to drop off. Steve's all dropped from fencing off. He said it's really tight, but I've got a grab to do after I've got this Warwickshire Gold. So I've got to go in mighty wide. If I can't do it, I'll get Steve to come with Big Red and we'll get it done either way. But yeah, first drop, two Warwickshire... <coughs> excuse me. First drop, two Warwickshire Gold. And we'll see you there. Steve, you weren't lying when he said it was tight. Yeah, we're, we're not. I don't think we get up there. I've just looked at the top. I'm going to try and come down from the top. So let's whip around there. So I'm just waiting for Stevie now. We're going to swap these over on Stevie's and then we're going to try and get down that road. It's that, just there, look. You have to go down. It's way too tight. I think it's going to be too tight for Big Red, but we'll give it a go anyway. Must be upsetting people around here. Parking is of the essence around here. This woman just put a car. <laughs> let's check this. I don't know how close she could get. I mean, <laughs> and I ain't, but I ain't backed up to that. She's backed up to me. That's crazy. Some people are absolutely crazy. The start of the journey. It's going to be tight. That's for damn sure. First obstacle. Missed the edge. That's one completed. On to the next. Now nah, it's the corner. Oh. It's so good so far. I've actually done a fencing job there, guys. <laughs> Both top one. Is this corner four? There's the next one that might be the problem. And that van that's sticking out. Sorry if it's a bit behind, so I'm running downhill. There's always one, isn't there? That one there earlier. And that's where I was around that corner. So I think we'll get Big Red out of there. Definitely wouldn't have got Mighty White down there. 100%. But good job, we have got two grabs, isn't it? So, hopefully Steve is filming. He has been filming, hopefully he'll film this bit and then we'll get him off. We've arrived. A little bit tricky, but... We like this challenge. We love our challenge. Right, these two Warwickshire's over there. <laughs> you can't see it, but we've done it. And now it's just getting through this tight bit here. As you can see, it's a little bit crazy, but we're gonna get it done. Oh, she's tight. So I am back in Mighty White now. God, that was a bit of a challenge, wasn't it? But we did it. We mastered it. So now we're going to do a little grab, okay, and then we'll be on our way. And we'll be meeting the lads on the drop crossing. So yeah, we'll see you soon. So then guys, in and out. Nice tight one, all on the back. Let's run meet all the back of the yard. We're going to get topped up now. Fill it up and then take it to Oakfield. Nice 
full load there. Let's get it off to Oatfield. Now we're going to go and get some tarmac. So hello guys, I'm not sure how we're going to do and film this day. We'll probably be mixing between me and my dad on the clips because he's going to be with us anyway. So you've probably seen a bit of my dad earlier. He just saw us try and get Big Red down that gap and drop off those two bags. But now we are here on a drop crossing and this is what we're doing. Maybe a little bit windy as all guys, so I do apologise. But you can see how this drop crossing only goes to halfway up this brand new drive that they've had done, which looks very nice by the way. It looks like they've had the walls done, maybe having a lot of work done at this property. But they are, they need this drop crossing to go all the way across. Not sure if we're going all the way to this drop crossing or if we then we're going to a drop crossing to here. So it just scoops here and then we put a new curb in there to line up. I'm not 100% sure yet. Yeah, going to look at the plans, going to see what we're actually doing. But one thing's for sure, guys, we need to cut a line, a strip there, cut a line in a strip there and break all of this old tarmac car. But before we do anything like that, guys, Jordan and Ant are just setting up these, these signs right here. And then once that's done, we'll start cracking them. Coming along, guys. Oh, so a breaking tarmac. George just pulled a bit of tarmac there. Does that look a little bit like the UK or what? Oh, we've got Wales, Wales, London, Edinburgh, good old Nottingham, Newcastle, Liverpool, Manchester. Oh, what's the furthest down here? Kingsling or something like that? Lands, Lands End, something like that. Yeah, interesting, eh? Let's keep cracking on with this. Seen curbs like this, guys. Got a recess in there. I think my dad said it's to make them lightweight. We're just clearing the bed now. You can see how the recess here looks. That one isn't, that's how our curbs are. Yeah. So we're taking those two out, we're taking this one out, and then it's gonna be a slope off. Full size, full size, full size, full size. And then it's a half curb somewhere around here, tying in to the original drop curb. Guys, we're catching up. We've got our curbs in, sitting pretty. We've decided to cut a channel out for the road. Nice straight line, because this is the original curb here, guys. This is a obviously a, a, a flat one, basically. But the tarmac just kicks away and of course we're following suit we're following the line in a straight line um and it just wouldn't make it look like the drop crossing so decided we've cut this out and we'll put some fresh tarmac down there as well guys i'm not sure if my dad's filmed a clip but if he has let's go and jump onto him now so we have three days on drop crossings we're gonna have to use two because I can't get no time out, they're saying they shut at half one. It shuts at half past one, that's good. I'm sure it used to be half past two. But this is what we're doing now. I'm going to grab all this and make sure it's all ready for tomorrow. Stevie's shot off to go and do academy roof in their post. And then we have got a grab to do. So yeah, we'll get this on, tip this back at the yard and then shoot off the other grab. Let me just show you how we're leaving it overnight so it's nice and safe. So there, and we've got a sign's further out down there to let people know but yeah this is nice and safe no one lives at this property at the minute i think it's coming up for sale we'll get this time out tomorrow done that edge let's go and do that grab then if you see that we're all loaded up again three bags of sharps and 15 cement and 15 sleepers let's get them delivered and then there's a grab to do with this one as well lads have been busy again they powered it right up we're not going to reach out there i'll reach as much as i can i just spoke to aaron he's all right with that but yeah we need to find some room to put the sleepers Let's get it all off and start grabbing. I'm all the sins that you can't confess. I'm just your ghost if we're not undressed. A part of me wish that we never met. But you act like we never got to waste it in the bathroom of your parents' house. Then you kissed me in the backseat of a taxi ride. And we said things that were cheesy, but we met. So that's all on, as you've seen by the time lapse, phone died, I don't know how much you've seen, I think you've seen all of it, and then it, I picked it up and it died. So yeah, that will be getting tipped off tomorrow morning. So let's head back to the yard and finish it there. Good morning, it is Friday morning. Everybody loves a Friday, get that Friday feeling. Jordan's just bringing a post now. 
for one of the deliveries. We have got yesterday's spoil on. So what we're going to do, we're going to tip that off and then we're picking up eight oak sleepers. I believe this is for a subscriber. I'm not sure. There's a little lad wants to sit in the wagon. I assume it's for a subscriber. Uh, there's a muck away to do there. The eight sleepers, what we're going to pick up, they're going to go there. Then what we are going to do, we have got five railway sleepers and a bag of stones drop off. But that's at the drop crossing and we've got lots of tarmacking to do today. Lots of tarmacking. I'm just let Jordan in. Yeah, lots of tarmacking to do. The time is half past seven now, bang on a dot. Jordan said he'd be here at 10, 20 past, but I've been sat here waiting. Clocking in machine took a while. Yeah, the clocking in machine took a while or the, the battery was flat on his scooter. <laughs> Yeah, so now he's here. He's gonna jump back out now and check my brake lights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's gonna check my brake lights. Film me and I start filling my booking. I've done everything else. It's just my brake lights. I could have backed up to a wall if you're on your own, but I know Jordan was coming, so he's checked my brake lights. Checked indicators, give him the thumbs up. Indicators, hazards are on. Yeah, likes. He wants, to, he wants to see reverse now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, reverse is all good. Right, we are good to go. I'll film our booking and then we'll catch up when we've tipped off. There we go, another one tipped. Now we are picking some oak sleepers up. So we'll go and grab them now. So here, yeah, guys. You have to stop and wait. Just loading down the bottom. He'll let us in in a minute, and we'll get loaded with our, I believe it's eight, eight oak sleepers. So yeah, they do all different kinds of sleepers. I've been here before, but yeah, this is all they do at this place is sleepers. So as soon as we get loaded up, we'll show you. There we go, guys. Before we show you this wagon spinning around in this spot. Oh, is it a flash one? It's quite nice. It's all, is it? All black. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See it up. Oh, look at this wagon, guys. <laughs> oh, man. We're like a good uh, tractor unit. Me and Jordan were just on a bar. I could see all his uh, cleaning products at his side door. Yeah, it's a lovely wagon, that. Mercedes as well. There we have it. Here's our eight oak railway sleepers. Let's go on. All nicely loaded up on the back now. Now let's get them delivered. That's it, all nice and clean. It's all on the back. Have a guess, stand in the comments, how much that was. So we've just weighed it for the customer. So that one's all grabbed now. What we're gonna do is top that up in the yard and then we'll have to quickly take that. Or we might just tip it in the yard, looking at the time. Probably tip it in the yard. And then we're going straight away to go and get tarmac. So next time you see us, we'll tip this in the yard, and go and get tarmac. So then guys, second attempt to get tarmac. We are back. So we'll grab this tarmac and then we'll ring Steve out, gets to meet us. Here we have it guys, under the upper. 
ready for the tarmac. George has got a quick drink, I've got a drink. Yeah, now it is a five tonne of tarmac. As soon as that's dropped, we'll head off to site. So here we have it guys, first one is done. Now it's going to meet Steve. Hello guys, I have no idea where this clip's coming in. I don't know if my dad filmed it at the tarmac plant or not. I know we haven't filmed this drop crossing because we just had to get it done. We're going to go do another one now, so we'll film a little bit for that one. But it's all done guys, it is all done. Pretty simple. It's had the 20 mil, it's had the 6 mil. It's pretty much all you need to do guys. It's looking very, very good indeed. Really sets off this curb appeal. Especially with that drive there, it looks very nice guys. But we're off to go do another one. I think we've got to do a bit of tarmac in that school as well, so we better get to it right now. That's another one biting the dust guys. It's getting quite late on Friday, but this ain't the end of DJ and tarmacking. See what's next. There we are, the last one. So we're gonna do clicky fingers on this. I do apologize because it is half past three and we need to get it done. There we have it, all complete. And the time is quarter past five. So it's another late one on the Friday. Thanks to Tarmac for letting us land yesterday. Now it's all complete, we're all wrapped up. Let's head back to the yard and we'll catch up. So we're back at the yard. Just took our tacos out. Stevie's just sorting his out now, I believe. Now they'll be over here. But yeah, it's been a good week. We've seen plenty of different jobs. So this will conclude the video. We have done plenty this week. There's been a brutal fencing. There's been jobs completed with a bit of iron work. Just, just on that fencing job, actually, someone did say in the comments, um, they're, the to they're the sort of jobs where you're still wishing that you was wearing gloves a week later. And you're not wrong, because my hand's in bits. Um, so I've got gloves now. And we do provide gloves. I've seen the comment where said, oh, you provide health and safety stuff. We provide everything. But yeah, there's been fencing and there's been grabs and there's been drop crossings to finish the week off. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a comment and like and subscribe if you aren't already. So that's it, guys. We'll see you in the next one.